Why is so much time, effort, and not inconsiderable amounts of money being spent restoring this lovely old pier? Well, you get your sunrises at Felixstowe, and you get your sunsets over Manning Tree. And to be quite honest for me, just on those two grounds alone, that's worth it. No. There's proper benefits to be had by getting this thing back into fine fettle again. We have Thames barge races locally and they would be able to rock up here. All kinds of leisure craft would be able to use it. Potential to enhance the stop-offs for the ferry and better communications over to Harwich, where of course there's the railway line. And it's not about just a Sunday afternoon promenade down the pier in your Sunday finest to take in the sights, sounds and smells of this beautiful part of the county. Now down there at the Bristol Arms, the project has demonstrated the commitment and motivation and generosity of people in that the first section has already been done and beautiful it looks with its lovely new railings. This end, however, ah, uh, not so much. Work definitely to be done. There is, of course, quite a long way yet to go. So why? Why do this? Why are the volunteers as motivated and as keen as they are? Why has there been so much support? Well, I think there's a vision of what having this pier fully restored can bring back. But any activity that's going to be done alongside the pier is going to require some extra work to be done. So as I walk over the mud and the sand and the stones, there's quite a lot of stuff here which could potentially be very harmful to a vessel that uh, moors up alongside this pier and the tide goes out. And so planning for that is essential and that's going to require quite a lot of work to be undertaken to get all of these nasty stones and other bits of assorted metal, concrete, rock, get them all sorted away. That particular project is in a planning stage. There are a variety of finance sources being looked at that may assist in the execution and clear up of this area. But once done, the opportunity to have ferries, barges and other vessels moored here will just open the door to other opportunities that can then be explored to enhance not only what the pier brings to the local community and beyond, but also gives it a degree of self-financing in order that it can be looked after going forward into the future. There's something about this pier. And if, when you come down here, you feel it too, and you fancy getting involved, you can come down here at the weekend when there's a fundraising burger van, teas, coffees, nibbles. You can look at the already sponsored planks on the restored pier. And if you fancy it, you can sponsor one yourself for other bits as they are completed. The railings can also be sponsored, or you can make regular donations, be they small or be they large. The contrast between the modern docks to one side, and the beautiful countryside up the river uh, is amazing. Lots of wildlife. Over the far side, you get ferries going in and out. There's always something interesting to see in Shotley. And of course you have the heritage. Just down the road you have Shotley Marina, which used to be part of HMS Ganges, which is up on the hill behind. So I hope you've enjoyed this little film. 
about progress so far on Shotley Pier and some of the plans that they've got going forwards. I intend to continue coming down here to film the progress as it invariably happens and enjoy watching this project take its slow, methodical, determined progress towards restoring this lovely heritage building. Thanks for watching.